Welcome back everybody. It's a couple days before Christmas. I wanted to bring you a video and we're hungry for stir fry. Let's make a chicken stir fry. Blackstone 36 inch Pro Series high heat and you can see that smoke coming off the griddle. Look at this. 612, 550. So we're way up in the high 500s, low 600s right now. High heat all the time on stir fry if you follow the simple rules. Stir fry action stir fry you're always moving you're always going it's not like set it and forget it with a burger patty on an old-fashioned grated grill you're going quick and a typical meal is going to be 10 minutes or less it's mega quick avocado oil always a good choice for stir fry you'll see i always like to keep my griddle completely shiny i am using my bare hands be careful for crying out loud use gloves or use tongs if you have to i'm assuming the risk it's a hot griddle top i have a little over three Three pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast take the word skinless with a grain of salt so this is how they come from Costco they're actually in a six pack so this is three and I did half of them I actually trimmed that much additional fat off of them so you can always get in there and take additional fat off of them you can go as lean as you want to go but they did most of the work in the Costco butcher shop down with the chicken on the hot griddle top you can always use a little more avocado oil. We're gonna move this to the side. Simple, easy, I picked these up at the grocery store. They're already spiraled. Zucchini and squash straight down on the griddle top and carrots as well, shredded carrots. Keep in mind, I have a lot of food here. We have a big family. I'm gonna use a little more oil than you might be using at home if you have a family of two, three, or four. I'm also gonna take advantage of this time to use that rear grease gate. It's nice if you're doing stir fry, you can close off the grease cup hole and then you can just go crazy with that stir fry. Onions, I just had yellow in the house. A little bit of chopped garlic, sizzling real nice. Come over here to my chicken. Look at that, we're getting that gorgeous sear, fast and furious. Today we're using the udon noodles. You might have seen me use these over the years. This is what they look like when you pull them apart. They actually compress quite a bit in the store. So you slice them open, you open the package, and then you break them apart. What I like about udon noodles is they're like little flavor transport vessels. And the same goes for Hokkien noodles and chow mein noodles. There's just a lot more real estate so they can soak up all the oils, all the juices, a lot more bang for your buck than rice. Noodles down into the veggie pile. Gonna mix that up straight away. They don't take long, it is a fine line. You don't wanna have soggy noodles, but at the same time, like this, they are cooked, but they're really bland. So you wanna make sure they're soaking up all those oils. Chicken is good. So we are gonna mix that in with our noodles and our veggies. These are just the veggies I'm using today, by the way. A lot of times you might see me using broccoli or cauliflower and have an upcoming video on Let's Give It A Try that'll probably air sometime in January or so where we even threw turnips, wild turnips into the mix. So stay tuned for that. Towards the end, I like to go in with some spinach and I also want to stop to talk a little bit about stir fry. Am I cooking something that's authentic from Asia? No, certainly not. Is it good? Yes, it's very good. But think of this more in terms of um, Panda Express stir fry. They're probably not cooking the recipes that we get at Panda Express deep in mainland China, but we like it and we call it Chinese food. We talked about stir fry earlier. It's in action. One thing that drives me crazy is people that call stir fry hibachi. Hibachi is actually a Japanese grill. It's a type of a steel grill, a metal grill they use in Japanese cooking, a hibachi. A lot of people will mistakenly call stir fry hibachi. Hey, I ate hibachi tonight. I'll see people post, my wife was hungry for hibachi, so I made her hibachi. She ate hibachi, no she didn't. She didn't eat hibachi, so come on, it's stir fry. Stir fry sauces, my first stir fry sauce love would have been Mr. Yoshida's. I like it a lot, probably my favorite. These are some things I found in my cupboard and things that we could use today. The old standby, the sweet chili sauce, I love it. Have some of these left over that they sent me a couple months ago a couple of different types of Japanese uh, stir fry and barbecue sauces and some liquid aminos the sweet chili sauce garlic 
uh, sugar and chili. Don't leave me a comment saying I can't have sugar. If you can't, then you gotta use something that doesn't have sugar. Maybe you want soy sauce, maybe you wanna go light soy sauce. This left alone with just salt and pepper and garlic and all that is really good without any sauce. So you can figure out what you wanna do as far as seasonings and as far as sauces go. You wanna put it on towards the end because there is sugar and we don't want it to burn on the griddle top. Redmond Salt sent me some organic garlic pepper. This will be perfect today. A little bit of garlic pepper. I use a lot of Mrs. Dash. I use the Blackstone Teriyaki stir fry seasoning. I use a lot of different types of seasoning on my stir fry. We have extreme heat here. I can tell we are hot. Everything is done. The noodles are cooked. I think we're gonna pull it. If you're wondering too what spatulas I'm using today, I love last year's version of the Adventure Ready Spatula. I like them because I have small hands, they have small handles. You can move these things around really easy. They're lightweight and my hands don't get fatigued. If I'm using the huge spatulas on the griddle mortar and doing stir fry 15, 20 pounds at a time, at the end of each recipe, my hands actually get really tired from all that movement, but these are so light. You can flip them around and I don't get tired. At the end, I'll go in with a little bit of sriracha. And of course, really hard to find brand name sriracha right now. The good stuff from California. Have not seen it out in the stores here for about a year. Trader Joe's is all I can find. So I like to decorate mine with a little more of the sweet chili or maybe a little bit of sriracha as well as some sesame seeds. delicious stir fry. We're just gonna call it chicken stir fry or sweet chili chicken stir fry. I'm not sure what we're gonna call it. I've made stir fry arguably more than anything else on the griddle. The family loves it. You can make it kind of as healthy as you want or unhealthy as you want. Like I said, based on sauce, based on ingredients, maybe you don't want the udon noodles. There's rice noodle stir fry. A lot of options, a lot more options than with other recipes. Stir fry, griddle cleaning, probably one of the messier things you can clean up the griddle because you have that. You have that caramelized, burned sugar. But it's really simple. Don't overthink it. You take your griddle scraper. I like that style. I like that pointed, sharpened edge. You want to lightly scrape it. You're not going to dig into the griddle, but lightly scrape it. Get everything back there towards the grease cup. Now listen, if you weren't filming a video at home, you could certainly get in there and pick out pieces of noodle and chicken, but I'm in a hurry here, so you're gonna see me throw a few pieces of chicken and garlic away that some people are gasping about right now. I actually had somebody on the 2019, I think, Griddle More Tour, reach into my grease cup and pull a piece of chicken out, so be careful. Then when you do that, you can take your paper towel, wipe off any extra residue, direct it back there towards the grease cup. And like I said, I'm using my bare hands. I know that, you know, every couple hundred times I do this, I might slip and wow, get a little sizzle on the knuckle. So you might want to use tongs. You might want to use protective gloves. I always end like this. If I'm using avocado oil, if I'm using extra virgin olive oil, a thin layer of oil on top of the griddle and we'll let that smoke off for a minute or so, turn it off, and it's ready for the next cook. Looks absolutely delicious. Let's go in there for some stir fry. Ooh, -wee, looking good. I'll make it look extra pretty for you since I have my own portion now. A little more sriracha, a little more sesame seed on top, and take a look at that. By the way, check out our new wall. First appearance in a Blackstone video. Actually here on my channel, first appearance as well. So a new wall here on the patio. You can see we have the Leggero and the big pizza oven as well. Let's get to get some of that chicken. Let's give it a try. Nice thing about spirals, sliced zucchini, squashed, shredded carrots is they just mix well. They meld in with the noodles and they don't look out of place, so they look good. And look at that zucchini noodle, and they taste good.
old timers might be sick of seeing it because I might have done a hundred stir fry videos. If you're new, welcome to the world of stir fry. I'm probably gonna bring you a stir fry video every one and a half to three months because I love doing it. Friends, thanks for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Make sure you're watching my other show on the Blackstone Network, of course. Let's give it a try every darn week. I have episodes of Pizza Party that go up every once in a while. And go to Toven Zone, T O V E N Z O N E, Tovenzone.com. You won't be able to get it in time for Christmas, but I had a beautiful, ugly Christmas sweater shirt. Lots of uh, Todd Toven griddle designs, the God guns and griddle designs, all kinds of cool ones. So, Tovenzone.com. If I don't see it between now and then, which I probably won't, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Until next time, this is Todd. Praise the Lord and pass the stir fry. I gotta get in the house and feed this to the family. <laughs>